All right. Hey, everybody. Happy, what is it, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. So see if you can get out there and, and be active outside. Um, welcome to Stay Active at Home with Ginny and Nate. Um, I wish I should have, I should have counted how many, how many of these workouts we've been doing, but we've been doing this for almost three months now, which is pretty fun. It's, uh, it's good to see you guys. We've got our regulars. This is really fun. Um, the workout for today is combos. And I don't mean the snacks that you eat, um, like the pretzel snacks. So it's two exercises combined into one. And it literally every exercise we're going to be doing is a combo exercise. Um, it's going to be in superset format. So we're going to do exercise A for 45 seconds. We'll rest for 15 seconds. Then we'll do exercise B. And then we'll go back and forth until we've done each one three times. Then we'll take a break. Then we've got another pair. Then take a break. And then we've got another pair. Uh, combo number one is going to be a single arm squat to clean. Well, clean to squat, actually. So you're going to take a weight. You're going to set it on the ground right between your feet. We're going to be alternating left side to right side. So you're going to try to get that weight as quick as you can up to your chest, and then you're going to squat. So it'll look like this. Um, exercise two is going to be a curl to press. Curl to press, you're going to grab your weight. I have to kneel because of our low ceilings, but you don't have to kneel if you don't want to. But shoulders down, you're going to curl to your shoulders, press up over your head, back to your shoulders, back down. You kind of move like a robot on here. Try your best not to swing. So. Uh, clean to squat and curl to press are the combos of the first superset. Second superset is going to be a squat lunge combo. So you're going to squat, take a step back, squat, other leg, squat, reverse lunge. Repeating over, if you want to wait, you can put it under your chin there. And then the second exercise of that superset is a mountain climber push-up. So we're going to do um, five mountain climbers each leg and then do a push-up. So you're gonna start with high plank here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, push-up. One, two, three, four, five, push-up. You can also go do the, the tapping style instead of the sprinting style of mountain climbers. But so 10 total mountain climbers and a push up. Then our third superset is a plank with a leg raise, which you're gonna get into a low plank here. You're gonna lift your legs up. Try to keep your knees straight, um, lifting from your hips. And then exercise number two is going to be a row to a tricep kickback. So you're hinging nice far forward. You're gonna row the weights from your knees to your hips, then kicking the dumbbells back. Nice, smooth. Think of like a robot on here too. So you are pausing at each change of direction. So we're gonna work on some coordination a little bit today. We might have to take a couple seconds to figure out that there's two exercises combined into one, but I'm confident in you guys. You guys can do it. All right. Whew. Let's get warmed up. We'll start with 10 squats. Feet shoulder width apart. Weight on your big toe and your heels. All right, then after that, we're gonna do five nice, smooth, slow, controlled push-ups. Don't try to rush those push-ups. After the push-ups, we're gonna do a Spider-Man. So stay down on your mat. 
We're going to high plank. You're going to bring your foot up to your hand. Then on that same side, you're going to reach that hand up to the ceiling and switch sides. You can put that back knee down on the mat if you'd like. Reach up to the ceiling and back. Let's just go three each on this one. Gaze up as your hand as it reaches up to the ceiling so you get a nice good twist. All right, after that, we're going to do 15 jumping jacks and we should be ready to go to start the workout. Keep them going, guys. Good job. All right. Let's get the ball rolling. So two exercises to remember to start. Squat clean, curl to press. Uh, and if you uh, forget what they are, follow me. I'll be moving along with it. I might not be going as fast as I normally do. I got a bum shoulder right now, but I'll be doing my best just like you guys will. All right, grab your dumbbells. We just need one for the squat clean. We need both for the curl and press. So have them both ready. We're starting in 10 seconds. And go clean up to your shoulder, squat, set it down. Switch arms, clean up to your shoulder, squat. Make sure you're using your legs to get that weight up. You might even do a little hop to get it from the ground to here as quick as you can. Don't use your back, use your legs to get it up. We got 15 seconds. Now, kneel or stand, whichever you choose. Get ready for our curl and press. And you go, curl your shoulders, press above your head. Back down to your shoulders, down to your waist. Good job, you guys. I like to have my palms facing in the whole time. For me, I feel like it's easier on my shoulder, but you actually use different muscles if you have your palms facing in. So feel free to try that like Lisa is. Or Lisa was, you changed. Five seconds. All right, back up to uh, squat clean. Now make sure, make sure, 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 you're using your legs to get the weight up to here. Not just bending forward and using your arm. I'll show you from the side what, what mine look like. So I'm squatting down to use my legs to make sure I'm getting that up there. Um, for some of you guys that have a stronger upper body, it might be easy for you just to pick it up and curl it but use that momentum. It should be gaining momentum from your leg and you need to just kind of catch it. Your arms shouldn't be doing anything other than catching the weight. 10 seconds. Good job, you guys. All right, back to curl and press. There you go. Shoulders above your head. Shoulders and down. Don't swing. We're pausing at each change of direction. 
That way you're using the muscles, not the momentum to get the weight up. Good job. We got 10 seconds. Keep them going. Don't get sloppy. Don't arch that back when you raise your, raise your arms up over your head. All right. One more time for each. Then we'll take a quick break and we'll move on to a couple other uh, exercises. Oh, I like that. Like that transfer, Lauren, where you where you're passing it up above. I like that. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Nice low squat. Don't forget about the squat. Ten seconds. Yeah. Lauren, I have to use that more. I like that. That was efficient. All right, last round of, of curl to press. There you go. Shoulders above head, shoulders down. Don't let those elbows creep out. Keep the elbows tucked into your sides the whole time. Job. All right, we got 15 more seconds. Don't get sloppy on me. Keep the form going. No swinging. Five seconds. We're going to be not a whole lot of rest, so grab a quick drink of water. Now we're going to do the squat lunge and the mountain climber push up. So it's squat lunge, squat other leg lunge, squat left side, squat right side. And then the mountain climbers, it's 10 total mountain climbers, five on each side, and then a push up. So we're starting with the squat lunges starting in 10 seconds. Squat, one leg back. Squat, other leg back. Good job, you guys. Good job, Emma. Good to see you. Good job, you guys. I'm gonna have to drop this weight. 15 seconds. Squat. Lunge. Keep it going, you guys. We got five seconds. All right, getting down to mountain climbers. 10 total mountain climbers, then a push up. One, two, three, four, five, push up. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Nice quick feet. Drive those knees to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up. Fifteen seconds. Keep it going. We've got five more seconds, one more round. 
God. Ooh, those are spicy, huh? All right, squat lunge coming back at you for round two. Squat. One leg. Squat. Other. Good job, you guys. Keep it going. Twenty seconds. Awesome job, everybody. Keep it going, keep it going. Five more seconds. You got a couple more reps in you. Ooh, good job. All right. 10 mountain climbers to every one push up. Push up. Keep it going, you guys. Way to work hard. If you gotta slow down those mountain climbers, that's okay. You can just tap your knee up, do a marching mountain climber instead of a sprint style. Ten more seconds. Keep it going. Five, you got one more in you, one more, one more. Good job, okay. One more round of each. You got this, you got this. This will be the hardest round we got. There you go. Squat, step back, squat, step back. Good job, you guys. Those quads might be burning a bit, but you can do this. You can do this. Awesome for me, guys. We got 15 seconds. Job. All right, last mountain climber push-up combo. If you want to throw a couple extra push-ups in there for good measure, because you're not getting enough, go right ahead. Do two push-ups for every 10. There you go. Good job, you guys, keep it going. Drive those knees, drive those knees. It's your last time to do this, I promise. No more mountain climbers. Finish strong. Let's level up today, keep pushing it. Awesome job, everybody. All we got is 15 seconds, 15 seconds, all the way to the end. Driving those knees, driving those knees. No more rest after now. Keep it going. We got five seconds. All right, we got one more superset to go. Then we're done for the day. Plank with a leg raise. So you're just holding that high plank and kicking your legs back, think moving from the hips. And then our bent over row tricep kickback combo. So we'll give your legs a little rest. We're gonna do uh, planks and tricep kickback. Grab a quick drink of water because we're starting pretty soon here. We're starting in 10 seconds. And our first exercise is going to be the plank with the leg raise. There you go. Alternating, leading from the hips, not from the heel. So you want those knees locked. 
If you start to get a little tired, if you start to get a little tired, we can drop to your elbows. If your arms are getting tired, you can do it that way. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. We got 15 seconds. Five, four, three. Good job. Okay, come on up, grab your dumbbells. Hinge forward nice and far over your front legs here. You should be almost parallel to the floor. Roll into your, to your sides, kick your legs and arms back. Keep those elbows tucked in, don't let them wing out. Row, kick, back, down. Row, kick, back, down. Good form, everybody. Kicking back, straight back to the wall behind you. 15 seconds. Five. All right, two more times through. We got the plank with a kickback. I mean plank with a leg kick. Leading with your hips, keeping the legs straight, not bending your knees. Whew. Keep it up, you guys. We're 25 seconds in. One more. Five. All right, back up for the row kickback combo. Starting five. Row kick back down. Make sure it's a nice low row. I don't want you shrugging your shoulders up to your ears. I like to pull back to about the top of my hips. That way you're using your back muscles, not your traps in your neck. Awesome job, you guys. 10 seconds. We just got one more round each, that's it. Just one more, you can do this. Last plank, coming at you in five seconds. And go. Lifting with the booty. Now, when you start to get tired on these, even though you're lifting up your leg, try to keep the integrity of that plank. Don't arch your back. Lift your leg up as high as it'll go without you arching your back. That's the last thing we need. So you only need to go about a foot off the ground. Keep it going guys, finish strong. We got 10 more seconds and no more planks. Five, four, All right, coming at you is the last 45 seconds of the workout. You guys look sweaty like me. Grab your weights, we're starting in three. Row, kick, row, down, row, kick, back, down. Try to have nice consistent pace here. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. 
Try to get as much scapular retraction as you can on that roll back. Yeah, good form, you guys. Keep those shoulders down. Hinge and forward, nice and far. Nice far forward hinge. That way you're able to get straight back because if you're standing up here and you go back, you're just going down to the ground. We want to be able to go straight back to the wall on those kickbacks. Five seconds. You guys kicked butt. Way to go. Awesome job. Okay. Take a couple breaths. Grab a drink. We're going to cool it down. All right. Let's bring that one arm across. A lot of upper body today. Every, every, uh, every superset had a little bit of shoulders or chest or triceps in them. So. Let's give those some attention. All right, switch to the other side. Okay, one arm up, pull it back, feel it's tricep stretching. I like to go where your back is. Instead of putting your hand here, put your hand back here you'll feel that stretch in your hamstring or in your tricep, as opposed to here will be more of the shoulder. Should I go right behind your shoulder on those? All right, switch to the other arm. Good job, you guys. Good job. Okay, let's stretch out that quad. Grab your foot, pull and back. Let's try to work on that balance. Try not to hold on to anything. So when you get there, then you stand up really tall and you shift your hips forward. We you shift your hips forward, you'll feel that extra little oomph in the, in the quad. All right, switch to the other side. Whoop. So once you gain your balance, that is, stand up really tall, shift your hips forward. You guys have good balance. Okay, now we're gonna hinge forward, stretching out those hamstrings in the back. Feet about shoulder width apart, hinging forward, reaching down, maybe putting your fingers underneath your toes, maybe shifting a little bit to the left or the right side. If you can do this with a straight leg, awesome. Congrats, you're more flexible than I am. I got such tight hamstrings. Oh. All right, give me a couple good shoulder shrugs and that's it. Tight shoulder shrugs, squeeze your shoulder blades back, and we're good. Um, I'll make a difference for today. Another diet one. Well, uh, yesterday we talked about being um, mindful, mindful eating. Um, and here's another one that actually helps you just kind of slow down because a lot of times we start eating, we're just scarfing down, or we're, you know, maybe we're in a hurry, or maybe it's just so good we don't want to put it down. So I challenge you after each bite, Set your fork down. It's not just because, you know, it's not about weight loss, really. It's just more about enjoying your food, savoring it, instead of just shoveling it in. You'll actually probably find that you'll get full a little bit faster because you're allowing that signal from your stomach to your brain to actually connect. So try eating, put your fork down after each bite. You'll probably eat maybe about a third less of what you normally would eat, which is because you're just slowing down. That's it. Whew. That's it. Good workout, you guys. Um, again, if you have not filled out that survey, um, I will post the link here quick before we go again. But um, it would mean a lot to me if you could fill this out. I just wanna know, 
if we got to, if we should keep doing this or if there's things we need to change to make it a little bit more accessible for you guys. Um, or if you want more, if you want more, if you want some little bit more one-on-one -on -one time or a little bit more um, individual advice, maybe individual modifications that you don't feel like you're getting with the big group, uh, we can do that too. So just give me your feedback and let me know what you need because I'm here for you. Awesome job. You guys kick butt as usual.